What do we have here? Who's this? Gee, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> That's right guys, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. How are you guys doing? Good news is my buddy Wayne, Harvey Prepper Wayne, drove all the way up from Panama City, Florida to base camp here in Illinois. This was quite a quest for Wayne. He is here a couple months ago when I had talked about camshafts and stuff like that. He said, man, Eric, he said, if nobody in the country will do that job for you, I'll do it. Bring it down to Panama City. And here Wayne is. <laughs> I'm like, okay, how much is gas to get up here, Wayne? <laughs> and here he is. So uh, I can get you updated here. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll be uploading this video with Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. Bunch, bunch of changes right now, guys. In fact, I don't think any channel on YouTube has thrown their viewers for so many loops in 2021. It has been an absolute crazy year and especially a crazy month. Y'all been following my van build projects? Trying something new right now. Got the uh, Jackery 500 that fits in the bay of where my new Everchill 12 volt refrigerator is. Not, it's 12 volt or AC. Anyway, I'm doing a test here on the 500 to see how long it will run this refrigerator he in here under normal circumstances. I can put the screen back on and it fits inside there. Um, but, I have some updates here. My updates are when uh, Wayne left Panama City en route to Illinois, he thought he was coming up to do a solar project on Vanna White, the camper van. That's what he was loading up all his tools for, was to do a solar job on Vanna White. What neither of us knew at the time was that getting solar parts right now is very tricky in today's world of back-ordered parts and everything. And um, I, I had my order through Amazon get canceled the same day he got here. Amazon refunded and canceled my order. The kit is no longer available through, Ren through Renogy. And in case you haven't noticed, I have to be very specific with the panels that go on the roof. It's the most important part, getting around the uh, air conditioner and the vent and just not a lot of real estate up there. So in this kind of a solar build, you gotta find the solar panels that physically fit with dimensions first. And then you gotta worry about in-stock converters and charge controllers and all the other components of that. And uh, Wayne got here and I'm like, I got nothing. <laughs> I can't get anything, what do we do? Well. Brings us back to Miranda, my Class A RV, which I told you is going to get repaired eventually. And there is one other project that he's been working on here. I hear some wrenches turning down here. If we go over to the uh, driver's side there. Hey, Wayne. Hey, it's RV Prepper Wayne. Working on the exhaust leak at the manifold there on the driver's side, which I showed you a bolt was missing and broken off in there. Um, dare I ask how it's going removing those bolts? <laughs> I broke three. Oh no. <laughs> but it's fixing to slide off here in just a second. Okay, so one of the things that's different right now is that for some reason, uh, Wayne is getting most of them out, which means the manifold itself, it possibly could come out without any, you know, getting in the way of the frame right now. But like he mentioned, uh, some bolts have broken in there. We need to get an easy out and uh, do some stuff later, but we'll worry about that. The first step is, is getting the manifold off. And as you can see live, he's really, really close. And you can see how rusty and bad these were. I went ahead and got an eight pack and um, I'm gonna possibly even go to the next town over because they only sell these by the eight pack and he only had one. Obviously you need 10 per side. I have no idea why they come in an eight pack just to get a little more money from you, but. Okay, this one, that's right. It comes off in a set of three and two. These, so these are the or original ones there. And we got that Remflex one, which has held up really, really well on the other side. Did you get it? I think you just, yep, it came off. And I didn't even have to check the motor. Oh, that's awesome. Heck yeah. So there we go. And once he gets out, of course, we'll inspect this and he'll be cleaning it up and everything. But I, I'll tell you what, those Remflex gaskets are, are pretty awesome. So at least we're gonna knock one thing off here. Of course, he'll check and make, make sure it's level and not warped before putting in another bad one like we did last time. Or cracked. Or cracked, yeah. 
What do you think? Uh, I don't think the front side was leaking. Right there, she was leaking though. Oh yeah. That's where one of the bolts was already broke on there. Mm. All right, we're both fitting in the smart car. <laughs> we're gonna go pick up a few things. What are we grabbing? Uh, left hand drill bit, an angle drill bit. Or, uh, Some more studs. Yeah, an angle, 90 degree angle. We're gonna go hit up uh, Harbor Freight first and then AutoZone and uh, see if we can get what we need and get this done in one day possibly. Yep. Score. Yep, so we got back from AutoZone and Harbor Freight there, got everything we needed. I told Wayne I was gonna jump in the pool real quick because it's too hot. He's like, too hot? <laughs> it's 90 degrees and 100% humidity. But you know, Wayne coming from, from Florida, it's all about perspective. As for the halt on the solar install on the camper van, Vanna White, I want this to be a good system. I do not want to put in some junky thing or sacrifice and put, put in crummy parts or something like that. Many of you might be asking me when it comes to the Jackery, which I will update you at the end of this video, how many days it lasted tomorrow based or how many hours. Um, you know, Eric, you've got, you got three Jackeries, you got seven portable solar panels. Why don't you just do portable solar? Well, portable solar can be awesome when, when there is sun. Uh, Wayne's using my two right there for his, uh, his, his Renogy block there and Skeletor's. Definitely check out Wayne's, Wayne's video about this install. Uh, solar panels are great for someone who specifically goes to a place like the desert or something and parks and sits there for a month. You don't have to worry about anything. Your solar panels are gonna charge your battery all the time. But but for my particular lifestyle, someone who is moving pretty much every single day and driving and stopping at Quirky and going to museums and sharing stuff, I'm not deploying portable solar panels everywhere I stop. I'm not gonna be able to put these out on the ground until I get parked for the night and start editing at night when the sun is completely gone, which makes no sense. So for someone like me, it's very important to have solar panels permanently mounted to the roof that are gonna charge my batteries and keep everything maintained in the daytime. At night, you're not gonna get much solar. It's not gonna have much use. So for right now, since I can't get the stuff that I wanna get, I'm taking a break from Vanna White, the camper van, and definitely putting a lot more effort and uh, work into Miranda. Speaking of Miranda, Wayne's down there trying to pull those those other uh, studs out. Let's see how he's doing. How goes it, man? I got two of them out already. Heck yeah! I'm on my last one right now. That is that is definitely an art, man. Like precision. <laughs> <laughs> Using the angle adapter so I can get in there. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. It's going. Well, you know what you're doing. That pool's nice if you want to jump in later. I might hear a little there bit. There you go. All right. I like to hear that. <laughs> also, I'll uh, post up a couple pictures. I found my new arcade bowling partner here. Wayne has beat me three times on that game. We've been we've been taking AC breaks and going inside, looking at a few things that, that like just other little things inside Miranda to get her ready and everything. And I have one other decision to make before I leave base camp also here in a couple days. I've got to decide whether I am going to bring the smart car tater tot behind the RV or go back to a simpler life, which is always starting to sound a lot better, putting Roxy the Rebel back up here so I can just throw the RV into reverse and park wherever I want and take my chance. And when it's pouring rain, obviously I'm not gonna ride the motorcycle. Uh, I'm, I'm in that decision phase right now. I really, really am trying to think and I am not gonna make a decision until I roll out of base camp, turn the water off and everything, turn the furnace back on here at base camp, that's when I'll know. And that's when I'll tell you uh, how I'm going to take care of the other rigs that I'm not bringing and how we're gonna go about that. But for right now, I'm excited that we're getting some stuff done on Miranda. And either way, we'll go through the night on this video and I will tell you how long the Jackery 500 lasted on the fridge of the van. Here's the other one that Wayne pulled out. He drilled out and he's working on the last one there. Y you said it's moving, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's out. So they're all out now? They're all out now. We can start from scratch yep. and put brand new studs in there. Man, that is an art, man. You got to be really careful about that. And you nailed it on all three. I'm really, I'm really glad that worked out. Yeah, because uh, you, you got to be on the right angle. Otherwise, you drill into the threads. And is that why you thread. put that stud right there so you can see the angle? Yeah, that's why I put the two studs in there. Yep. So I can kind of line gotcha. my angle up and 
once I get centered, then I was good to go. Awesome, man. Nice work. Thank you. Yeah, that's exciting. Well, we worked so hard. Okay, he worked so hard. <laughs> it's time to play games. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Time to bowl. Well, good morning. Those cicadas are going crazy. Good times last night. I have no idea why that bowling pin got so much action. <laughs> Fun times, man. We work hard, play hard. Let's see how this uh, jackery held up overnight. Yeah, so after 12 hours and 10 minutes, I turned this on at noon yesterday, we're down to 11%. So basically, I can get one day, 24 hours exactly on this guy uh, running this refrigerator. Now, is that practical or not? It kind of depends. I would have to pull this one out today and plug in another one of mine, maybe run the actual fridge cord back through so it's not here. And then I could charge this one off solar today while I'm using the other one to power the fridge. And again, this is just to see if I can hold off getting solar on the camper van. Um, possibly, yeah, it's possible. Gonna make a pot of coffee, drink some coffee, and uh, we're gonna get back to work on the exhaust. And one other thing get back to you in just two days with uh, the updates on projects. Thanks for joining us, guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.